Hello and welcome back to Matt Ryan Photo. So today I am going to be playing around with, whoop, here we go, the Nikon N5005 or 5005. Now this is a very, I would say basic plasticky um, camera. It has a really decent autofocus. It has a good, a uh, good exposure meter on it. It seems to always kind of nail it every single time. Um, I brought this out yesterday to shoot. I was kind of doing like a little bit of a hike in the, like the woods and stuff like that. And it was just too dark. And to be honest with you, it was just, it wasn't anything really good to shoot. I mean, it's just trees and woods. It's just, so anyway, I brought it out today and I threw in some Ilford Delta 3200 into this, as this can take up to 5,000 ISO, um, 5,000 5, speed film. I don't know if there is even any 5,000 speed film out there, but I've never shot 3200. And I figure, well, it's super gloomy. It's nasty out. Um, might as well give it a try. So I'm right now at a lake out in kind of the countryside. Um, I'm going to take just a couple photos here and then I'm just going to kind of drive and kind of stop and take photos just on my way. Just kind of random. So eh, let's get to it. Yes, the lake is frozen over. And no, I'm not gonna go walking on it. Cause I'm a big chicken. That guy out there that was walking on it. That's just crazy. As with the previous photos that you just saw, you can really see the grain structure of this emulsion and it's pretty gritty and grainy. So there's like, um, out here in this countryside, there's like a bunch of fences, just kind of neat stuff to take some photos of and I, I think that's what I'm gonna aim to do um it's really a beautiful area there's a nice winery out here um just some nice beautiful farmhouses some ranches yeah stuff like that and I'm just gonna snap some shots with this 3200 because it's so gloomy out that I feel like it's a perfect time to test out 3200 speed film. And why not use a Nikon? I love my Nikons. All right, so you might have noticed that uh, I'm now in a different location than I was before. I was out in the farmland, now I'm kind of in the city. Well, if you want to call it a city, more like a village. Um, and the reason for that was, is just I wasn't finding anything that piqued my interest. So I uh, went home for a little bit started back up out here on a, on a public trail which you'll see in just a second and just going to dig into more of the Ilford 3200 but unfortunately uh, the sun is peeking in and out after an entire week of no sun finally we're getting some sun
So I have a few of these style of cameras uh, in my inventory and I like them for what they are. Um, they all pretty much do a fantastic job. They take great shots. There's more advanced lenses. The autofocus is generally pretty much spot on. The light metering is generally pretty much spot on. And it's, I would say that they tend to be a little bit more reliable. I wouldn't necessarily say they're more well built, but they are newer and seem to never really give me much of an issue. Like, um, you see my other videos where I was using the, the EOS, uh, can't remember which, what that Canon is that I use quite a bit. Um, I have a couple of them actually. Um, I'm kind of brain farting right this second on what those were. But you know what, they, they work great. You can get them for just an absolute steal and they're cheap. I mean, like I said, you can get them for an absolute steal and the lenses are just everywhere. You can find lenses for them super cheap and you get some fantastic photographs out of them and you don't have to really worry about anything. You don't have to worry about necessarily light leaks. You don't have to worry about any of that crap. You just throw a roll of film in there and go. You can pretty much use it like a point and shoot if you want to. But you just simply put it into auto mode and run with it. And sometimes I do that. Absolutely, 100%. I'm not ashamed to say that I'll put, I'll put a camera in auto mode. Why not put the fourth? The Nikon N5005. It was an entry level camera. It was made of cheap plastic, inexpensive, but you know what? It takes fantastic photos. It's got a good autofocus and a great spot metering. But I cannot say the same for Ilford Delta 3200 and 35 millimeter format. So here is just some examples of Ilford Delta 3200 shot on 120 film using a Raleigh cord TLR. So for me and my style, I don't like it. I It's too grainy, even in medium format. Now in medium format, it is gonna be less noticeable. The grain's gonna be smaller, but it's still a little too gritty for me. I think there's certain situations where it turns out good. And you'll see here's a couple photos where it actually does not look bad at all. Uh, but overall, I think I would rather stick with some HP5 and just push it a stop or two, you know, to 800 or 1600. And I think I'd be fine with that. I think it looks much better in my opinion. Um, but you know, hey, everybody has their own opinions. So if you like it, hey, go for it. It's all you. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Now I'm literally at one minute down the road and here's the fog. It's like, God, it just stopped at the town I wanted to shoot in. By the way, ignore the crack in my windshield. Just, it's not there. Ignore it.